there are few things more tiring than a convention. Um, today has been is no panels today because I couldn't get up and go and queue to get um, wristbands. So today was just about being on the convention floor and shopping. Really was the intention. I'd kind of uh, got swept up with. Um, Rob yesterday when he picked up a vintage Luke in the best bin fatigue Kenner figure completely blaster and lightsaber and it was in great condition it was a loose figure but it was in great condition yeah he got it for 30 US dollars so I thought I wonder if I could get a, as good a deal and I've been thinking we came home and it had been percolating and I thought yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go and I'm gonna step into kind of figure land and uh, I tried to apply everything I learned from the toy box so I went up looking for my I wanted a farm boy look that was the, this, what I set myself was um, <laughs> a control sort of parameter I thought well if I'm going to get into Kenner I'll buy the first 12 not all at once but that will be my aim I'll get the I'll get the first 12 released um, and I'll start today by going up and get myself Luke and you know, maybe I'll get R2 and if you can't get R2 without 3PO so there I had three figures so I wanted to get um, the three original Kenner Luke C3PO and R2D2 I thought right, if I can get them for $30 each it's $90 that I'm comfortable with and, uh, and then I'll work out some way to display them and things at home and then through the years I'll just pick up the rest of the 12 and then I'll be done um, so don't get ahead of yourself and think oh he went and bought everything he bought nothing I, I went up there the first thing I found was a, a Luke farm boy which wasn't in great condition had the lightsaber in there with the little thing on the end I, I paid attention to the toy box um, but they wanted $75 there's another one that was $80 um, I met up with Dan Solo and asked him for some advice because he's a collector you'd have seen his video on YouTube yesterday and he said to be honest if you go to a hundred dollars you'd get a much better quality look with whiter plastic and and there was one for a hundred dollars it was loose in the baggie but they next to that they had also for a hundred dollars had a C3PO and an R2D2 that were in acrylic cases and they were they'd also been um, it's the AFA thing so they're rated um, quite high for, for loose figures and they're in great condition but I could start to I could start to see how these things escalate um, and I decided to draw a line under it right there then and there because when I was talking to Dan I said if if I'd have gone to the convention thinking I'm gonna start collecting Kenner I could understand then um, going prepared and having a battle plan and buying and doing the research and buying the things that I really wanted but I think I've got caught up in the heat at the moment and thought this is what I want to do and then but I'm going to be very careful so um, what else did we do today oh, so I didn't do any collecting but I did spend some time with Dan and he's a great guy really enjoy chatting to him um, and there's a young lad that was hanging around with the Skyhoppers yesterday named Steve and he's quite a sweet kid so we, we spent some time chatting we went to um went to the Joy Builders thing and they had a Millennium Millennium Falcon set and BB-8 hanging from the ceiling you know, from The Force Awakens by the three cables so I have a photo taken with BB-8 it's in a photo stream if you want to have a look uh, what else did we do oh, um, I th and then I snuck off and started working on the post I'm going to do some writing in a minute and I started working on the post took a, a, a still store full of images captures from the trailer to put on the site Look, watch the last Jedi panel on YouTube and I've got some stuff to write up about that um, so it's a bit like today was a, f a floor walk and then when I had an opportunity I sort of sat down and did some work for Talk Star Wars rather than just mill around aimlessly trying to find something to spend my money on uh, we s sort of saw Ash and Ben for the last time because I think they go home in the early hours in the morning uh, they've been a lot of fun they're, they're great those two and uh, this evening we're going to pop up and I think we're going to try and meet up with the rogues and have some dinner and a couple of beers 
and then I can't decide what to do about tomorrow because I really want to go to the closing ceremony but I'm going to have to get up there dead early if I want to do the closing ceremony tomorrow get the wristband and then even possibly even come away and go back up much later or spend all day just kind of milling around to kill some time I don't really know what to do there I guess I could just do what I've done with the rest of these panels just watch them on YouTube later but then there is only so much floor walking you can do at one of these conventions isn't there before you've seen everything um, I don't really know but what I'm trying to do now is because I'm trying to prep the podcast because you know we're piecing together this sort of Frankenstein's monster of a podcast um, I need to record some interstitials, interstitials some drop-ins for the pod so it makes sense when you go from one section to the next section because we have different people recording different equipment so the quality is different and and I've lifted some audio off of a video like I'm going to do with this because I want to I was going to a part of the daily diary today was going to be me recording the drop-ins um, but I'm having internet issues at the moment speeds aren't very good here good grief right <clears throat> Hi everyone, it's Mark. Uh, the next clip you're going to hear is uh, lifted off of a video that Rob and I recorded as part of the day one breakdown. It's a recap of what we've been up to during the day. Um, so the audio seems a little bit different to usual. We're mic'd up differently. We were just about to record the uh, TSW Comics issue one. Um, so this is Rob and I on day one uh, recapping our day. Hey everyone, it's Mark again. So what you're about to hear now is a clip from day two, the end of day two, when we'd been to a um, we'd been pr to a pretty late panel, which was the full of Sith guys discussing Han Solo, and we'd gone up with Ben and Ash from Skyhoppers. Uh, Rob was there, obviously, and um, we met up with Dan Solo. So we decided we'd get together in a corridor somewhere and record um, just a brief recap on what we've been up to that day. Uh, did a little bit of a round table, not, not Rob's well-structured round table, but a uh, casual little round table look at our day, which included Dan Solo, who at this point was basically a zombie because all he'd done is stay awake eating Pringles, queuing up for things. Um, so this is a recap, a bit of a Commonwealth recap of the con day two. Right, okay, so I'll just pull that, I'm just going to pull that audio off of this video and then I can drop that in and it'll make sense on the podcast. I do miss my Yeti. This, look at this tiny little thing. Weird. Okay, right, so tonight is out to dinner, catch up with the rogues um, and then try and make a decision about what we're going to do tomorrow about this... Um, about this closing ceremony because it would be so disappointing not to see it but I tell you what one one option would be to spend some time watching the um, Star Wars show live today with Andy uh, Gutierrez and uh, Anthony Carboni really there's a really great you should have seen Andy Gutierrez firing a t-shirt cannon into oh maybe you did it was on YouTube but she was firing a t-shirt cannon into a crowd that was brilliant she nearly took out that TIE fighter with a t-shirt cannon um, so what I could do, I guess, is spend the closing ceremony there, watching it on their big screen with their audio. That's one possibility. Anyway, I'm going to go and do some editing and hopefully do some writing. And what you might get later on is a little thing from Rob and myself just capping off day three. A little video capping off day three. Okay, right. I'll see you later. Let's talk about Loot Crate. Are you on a quest for epic gear, housewares and collectibles? Loot Crate offers an epic range of pop culture items for less than $20 per month. Whether you're shopping for the geek in your life or you are that geek, Loot Crate is the best surprise you know is coming. Every month there's a different theme and new and exclusive items that you can only get with Loot Crate. Treat yourself every month or give the gift of geeking out to a friend or a loved one. You have until the 19th at 9pm Pacific to subscribe and receive that month's crate and when the cutoff happens, that's it, it's over. 
Make sure to head to lootcrate.com forward slash talkstarwars and enter the code talkstarwars and save $3 off your new subscription today.